Hey guys, Matt here with another video. So I'm gonna be upgrading my interior lighting and my turn signals and whatnot on the SRT. And I finally got my package today from Headlight Revolution, which is a very popular place here for getting lighting upgrades. So I just wanna kinda show you guys what I ended up getting. Now I've already opened this just to double check everything and also to make sure my shipping list doesn't come flying out. But just to kind of show you everything I got here, this is what comes in. I got the reverse lights, I got the turn signals, and I got the interior lighting upgrades with everything. So off the bat, just to show you here, these are the turn signals here it's from GTR. kind of give you an idea of what these ones look like. So obviously you get two of those. So there's those two over there. Um, as far as the reverse lights, as you can see here, a lot of these are the same type of bulb. So we'll make it pretty simple here. I'll just show one that way you guys can kind of see what exactly is all involved here. But um, carbide two bulbs on there. And those are the type on there. Now this is gonna go for all the stuff that I'm about to list right now. So that way you can kind of figure out what route you wanna go. But reverse lights, there's two on each side, two on the driver and two on the passenger. So right there off the bat, actually I'll just go with these ones. So there's two for the driver's side. There's two for the passenger side, just so you guys get an idea, okay? That's its own kit, okay? Now, you can get a brighter set that goes up to like 4,000 lumens. I opted for the 900 lumens only because I put the tail light tint on my uh, tail lights, just like a lot of you guys have done. And um, it's it dimmed because it's regular bulb, but once you put LEDs in there, it just makes it so much brighter, and I don't need to really make my reverse lights that bright and noticeable. I back up fine just the way they are. So these are only gonna make an improvement and I didn't need to pay the extra, I think it was like 50 bucks more just to get the um, 50, if not a hundred dollars more to get the extra brighter ones. So anyway, I just wanna let you know, I went with this, the lower lighted ones. So there's where the reverse lights, that's its own kit that you can buy on Headlight Revolution. The turn signal kit is its own thing that you can buy. All right, and then the rest I'm gonna show you is what comes on the interior kit. Now, just to kind of go off of these two right here alone, these are the, uh, what come in the kit. These are your vanity lights. So like when you put down your sun visor with the mirror, and it's got the lights on there to light everything up. These are what go in that spot there for the bulb that's in there. So just so you kind of get an idea, these are the type, it's one-sided. As you can see on there, it's one sided. The LEDs are only on one side. And you get two of them, obviously, because on the side of the mirror, there's lights on both sides. So here's passenger, here's driver, whatever you want to do with that, that's here. Then, of course, these bulbs, which I just showed you already what they are, you're going to have two in the front for your dome lights. There's LED that do the reading lights. You can't change those, those are already factory LED, but one for driver's side. One for passenger side, there you go. Then in your foot wells, you got one for the driver side. Then you have one for the passenger side. This lights up, you know, by your feet. So that way you can see whatever's down below at your feet there. And then of course, as you go through the car, you're gonna have one more. This is gonna go in your second row in the dome light. There's only one of those because the two reading lights, you can't really do anything, but one for the second row dome light. Then you got another one here. It goes in the third row dome light that you can put in there. And then lastly, I have two left and these go in the trunk. When it comes up, you know, there's two lights on the trunk lid, one on each side. That's gonna be for each one of those lights to go in there. So overall, that is the kit. They are having a sale right now where it's like 20% off or whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these and check it out and see how good they look on there. I'll do some before and after. Uh, pictures in a video here just to kind of get an idea but just so you guys can kind of see what all comes in the kit after taxes and everything all this that you see right here is roughly about 190 
to my house. So we'll go from there. All right, so I'm outside here. I got the outside lights on. I just want to kind of do a comparison for you so you can kind of see what it looks like with the regular amber turn signals on when the headlights are on. As you can see, they are just regular lights that flash amber, and you can actually see the bulb in there. So just so you guys get a quick reference of what it looks like there with the turn signals flashing. And then what I'll also do for you too, later on, is show you the reverse lights. But as far as everything else goes, I just want to kind of show you the interior light. And I'll turn my headlight flashlight off here. You can almost kind of see there is really almost no light down below in the wheel well. I can put my little flashlight on. You can kind of get an idea how much brighter it is with the white light on when I turn it off. Look at that. There's like no brightness to it. As far as in here, everything's so dim. Like that one's not even on. I gotta open the back door, I think. Yeah. You can just kind of see how dim those are and the orange light that you got on with them. So it's just crazy how big of a difference this lighting will make on here. And of course, last but not least, the lights on the back of the trunk. That's gonna be the biggest update. Here are those regular lights that are here on the trunk. So we'll get those swapped out. It'll probably make all the lighting down here even look brighter than what it is. So. We'll get those replaced and we'll make all that interior lighting here get a lot better and we'll go from there. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so just a quick note. I got my thing down out of here. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. Look at the difference, huh? Just so you know, when you use a flathead screwdriver, you can kind of pry this open. Now on my SRT, this didn't pop out like it did in the Headlight Revolution video. It was wanting to fight me and I didn't want to break it. So I left it there, but there is enough give in this where you can put a pair of needle nose pliers in here, pull out the old bulb and push the new one in. But I just want to let you know, be careful with that because I'm not sure exactly how that was supposed to come in, but I want to leave it in there just so that way I don't ruin anything. Cause see, it pops right back in and then I'll just, there we go. I'll leave it like that. So I just want to give you an idea. The factory ones for your reading is still there, yellow LED, but these ones are so bright. Yellow, not yellow. All right, time for some more upgrades. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this in the dark. There's my reading. All right, that still works. Now I'm gonna push on this. Look at the difference. Crazy, so I'm gonna turn the reading off. Remember, that's reading light over there too. But that's regular light. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, so just an FYI, when you're uh, getting the old bulbs out and you're using needle nose, just try and be as careful as you can. Um, I somehow came at it at the wrong angle. And the thing, if you can look there, there's the base, it broke. And I got some glass kind of all over. It wasn't that bad. I mean, but it broke the whole bulb. Luckily, I was able to put my needle nose into the socket thing and pull it out by its base and I was able to get the new one in. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys now, when I open the door, they are now both on. And that flickering, I don't know why it's flickering on the camera, probably because it's trying to adjust for brightness, but it is not flickering. These things are nice and bright. 
and they do dim. So anyway, there we go. All right, guys, so another update. As far as checking out the turn signals here to get those taken out, if you look at the website for installation, they have you remove the factory air box. So that way you can get to the connection. However, on mine, I'm an SRT. If you guys couldn't tell already, all right? So on my SRT, my air inlet, I don't use this like the RTs do and other uh, models. My bottom of the fog light is my air intake location. So if you look at my air box, I have, really, I have nothing right here to go with this to remove. The light is right here, and if I go straight back, and if you look, there is actually, see if I can get it, the shadow of my head, headlamps can affect it. See that green right there? Not the orange one, that's the thing, but the green? That is the turn signal uh, location. All I gotta do is just turn that uh, counterclockwise to pull that out. And uh, basically that's the, uh, the amber light. So I just wanna let you know, if you guys have an SRT and are doing this light upgrade, you do not have to take the air box out. You could literally reach in there. There is plenty of space to reach in there and pull that out to work with. And then obviously over here, on the passenger side is the only other issue because the light is right here. And if you look, there's the other green one right there. So it's very easy to get to, um, to change these out. You don't need to take the factory air box out. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and take that part out Yeah, why well, can't I pull it out easier? There we go. Sorry guys, it's not the green. It's the other port. So it's, I can't get in there enough, but this little guy right here, it's literally right above it. If you pull it out, there's your amber light. So I just got to replace that amber light and I'll put it back in and then we should be good to go. All right guys, so I just got it installed. Just wanted to show you the difference between the two. I think it's so flipping bright. So here's your regular stock turn signal, right? It's kind of delayed. It's just a bulb. And here's your new GTR one. Now I have to tell you, man, I can tell you right now, this thing is flipping bright as hell. Look at the difference between the two. Honestly, the camera does no justice. The brighter one does produce probably four times as much light, if not more, on there. That is definitely a visible thing. I'll get one with the headlights on here in just a second. All right, and here you go with the headlights on. Now you can see over here, how it just kind of almost gets lost in there. But this one, you can definitely tell you are turning. All right, guys. So just so you can see here, I'm on the passenger side right now. I already got the driver's side one in, so we're good to go. I pulled out the passenger side one. I kind of want to just wanted to show where it was. And it's kind of hard to really get my camera in there, but it's just, it's literally right below there. It's not that hard to get to. It's pretty darn simple, but I just wanna let you know, you pull out your old bulb. Here it is. 
Pennsylvania is the type of bulbs they use. And also too, they are uh, reverse polarity, okay? So if you do plug this in wrong, it will not work. You just simply pl unplug it and plug it back in. I just found out a little trick though, if you get these with the GTR on here, if you look on this side, there's a little red type of thing there. And on this side, there's really not, it's more like a tab, if you can see. See that big red thing and then not so big red thing? If you do get these, the writing that's on these LED bulbs, here, I'll pop it out. On these LED bulbs, there's nothing on one side and there's writing on the other, which is, I guess, the serial number or whatever you want to call it. That's the side that goes where that red tab's at. All right, so if I, sorry, put the phone down. Pop it in, it clicks. So to see the writing, it's guarded by that clip. And then here's the red. That's how you know you have it in right. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, give you a quick overview of all the lighting. I have not done the bottom wheel wells or the very back of the trunk. I'm gonna do that at a later time in the reverse lights when I have a little more daylight. But just to show you, I got all of the interior lighting done. That won't light up because I don't have the door open, but it is on. But I just wanna kinda of show you the difference in lighting that it makes. Excuse the mess. But just look how much brighter it is in general. Gives it so much better of a clean look. And then lastly, the turn signals, which a lot of people wanna see. I'll fit the reverse lights in at another time. This is what it looks like just from the back part. Look how bright those are. I now have LED lights for turn signals. And I'll tell you what, man, those things are flipping bright. You guys have no idea. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.